Right everyone, it is Finn here and welcome back to another African Cup of Nations video where today we're going to be talking about the Egyptian national team and what to expect from them at AFCON 2023. Because of course, don't forget, as I said, with the competition only being about six months away, every single weekend I'm going to be talking about a different African nation leading up to AFCON 2023. And I just thought to myself this week, we might as well talk about the most successful team in the competition's history, the Pharaohs. As we know, they've won the competition seven times in total, and they were the runners-up in the 2021 installment. So of course, looking at the Egyptian national team, there's just so much to talk about, and I can't wait to dive straight into things. But of course, before we do that, I would like you guys to put in the comment section down below which African nation should I talk about in my next video. Also on top of that, I would apologize formally about dressing like a semi pro golfer here. It is absolutely freezing in Cape Town at the moment in South Africa where I live, so it's either this or my fingers fall off. So I think I chose the correct decision here. But obviously looking at the Egyptian national team, they have been on absolute fire in the African Cup of Nation qualifiers so far. They've only lost one game out of their first five so far. It was a 2-0 loss to Ethiopia, which considering they were missing some of their best players in that game, I think we should just let it slide to be honest with you. It's very rare that Egypt have performances like that. And I mean, it's like asking a man who's missing a few teeth to be a brilliant kisser. Sure, there's a possibility that he could still do the job, but once again, asking the world from him, it's not the correct decision. Have you ever kissed a guy with no teeth? But obviously, bar that one loss, they have been on fire form. Scoring nine goals and only conceding three in those five qualifier games, the Egyptian national team looks very strong heading into this competition. Especially because looking at all the five games, they've had majority of possession in every single game. And in terms of both attacking and defensive ability, they've actually been super solid. In terms of how I think Egypt should really pan out heading into this competition, I do think a 4-3-3 formation would be best suited for them. As you know, they've always kind of stuck to, to that formation, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But looking at the goalkeeper who I believe needs to start for this Egyptian national team, I've gone for the good old reliable Al Shanawi, who at 34 years old has been such a rock for the Egyptian national team for years now, since about 2018. Obviously looking at him in total for the Egyptian national team has gotten 25 clean sheets in about 47 games, and he is the only ever player to have captained a team to three CAF Champions League wins. Once again, for the likes of Al Alai or in the Egyptian league, he has been such a solid player. I mean, last season for them, 30 clean sheets and 45 games in total across all competitions. At 34 years old, he is not slowing down. And I do think Al Shanawi is the best goalkeeper option for Egypt out there. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I would catch it. Now jumping into our two fullbacks, once again, I would like to apologize in advance for any pronunciation errors here. But looking at our left back, we've got the likes of Mohamed Hundi and as a right back, Mohamed Haney. Obviously looking at Haney, a part of that Al Ali team, that obviously won the CAF Champions League and what a brilliant player obviously very regular in the Egyptian national team and I do think you have to look at factors like that because I do think if someone's a solid part of a team that does qualify for a competition you do have to put your faith in them obviously look at him he's obviously a brilliant leader as well at 27 years old captained Al Ali in the most recent final of the recent CAF Champions League once again to have a leader like that in the back and as I said he's been very solid over the last year or two was part of an unbeaten Al Ali team in the CAF Champions League. Once again, you just have to go for him. As I said, in terms of a left back, I've gotten for the likes of Mohamed Hundi, currently playing for Pyramids FC and has also been brilliant over the last year or two. Was part of the Egyptian team that's gotten two clean sheets out of three games in the um, African Cup of Nation qualifiers so far. And once again, as a fullback, you don't get much better. I think his discipline is absolutely brilliant. He only got two yellow cards last year and was part of a really good team that ended up doing very well. I mean, I think in terms of all the games he played, they only lost five games while he was playing. So once again, in terms of fullbacks, I do think those are Egypt's best options. Hey, that's pretty good. Looking at our two centre-backs, once again, this is almost the most important part for any defence in world football, but as our first centre-back, once again, so sorry for how I pronounce this, but it is going to be the likes of Abdel Monim at 24 years old, has been an absolutely solid centre-back for Al Ali, which once again, when a team does so well in the league and goes undefeated in the entire league, you have to give players like him credit. Fair enough. Obviously, look at him, only 24 years old, and an absolute rock at the back for Al Ali. Once again, has won absolutely everything there is to win with the club over the last year, Year or two and as a sense back is a very good ball playing sense back and I do think he is the future of this Egyptian defense. Now of course I have put him next to the likes of Hagezi who if you guys don't recognize him he probably is the only team of the season you've ever packed in FIFA. No! 
currently playing for Al Etihad, the same team as Karim Benzema at the moment, and he's been an absolutely solid setback throughout his entire career. Currently 32 years old, he just won the Saudi League with Al Etihad, and on top of that, has Premier League experience with, with West Brom. He has played in the Egyptian League for many years of his career, also with Fiorentina in Serie A. Once again, in terms of a defender, I actually think he is Egypt's best option. And with 83 appearances for the Pharaohs, it is no surprise that he has to be in there. I'm kind of a big deal. Now jumping into my midfield trio, now I will admit, this might have been the most difficult part for me to create for this Egyptian national team. As I said, it's not like other African nations out there who have some of their players playing for the best teams in Europe at the moment. So a lot of research had to go into this and it really does allow you to admire how good the local players are in Egypt. But of course, look at the three midfielders I've gone for. I've gone for the likes of Hamdi Fati. I've gone for Zizou. No, not Zinedine Zidane, although I'm pretty sure that the likes of Egypt would take him. And the likes of my Hamid Hamada. Not bad, not bad. But I've chosen these three midfielders because I believe these three midfielders create the most balance for this national team. They've all been made a part of the qualifiers. I mean, if you look at the likes of Hamdi Fati, he is definitely the best holding midfielder for this Egyptian national team. No, he doesn't start every single game for Egypt. A lot of the time he does come off of the bench. And he's just left the likes of Al Ali and he's just joined the Qatari League. Which at 28 years old, I do think it is a bit sad because I do think Fati is a player with a lot of quality in him. And when he does play, he does make a major difference. Obviously, we saw that over the last few years with the likes of Al Ali, who once again you have to give him credit for being part of such a solid defensive team. Once again, in terms of a defensive midfielder, I do think he is the best option out there, and I do think Egypt have to give him more of a chance because they don't play him nearly enough. As I said, in kind of more of an attacking midfield role, I've gone for the likes of Zizou, also known as Ahmed Saeed, who as an attacking midfielder is actually more of a traditional right winger for the likes of FC Zamalek. But for this international team, he plays in a midfield role and he's really transitioned well from going from attack to the midfield. <laughs> In terms of chance creation, I mean, he got 13 goals and 13 assists in the Egyptian League last season. An absolute monster. And if you do want a player who's going to get the ball from defensive areas to attacking areas, he absolutely is your man. As I said, he normally plays as a right winger, but when you've got, maybe this is a spoiler for the video later, the likes of Mo Salah in your team, you're not guaranteed to start in that position. Now, of course, as I said, the third and final midfielder I've gone for is the likes of 29-year-old Hamada, who as a midfielder is definitely the most versatile in this team. He can play in that number six position, number eight or number 10 position, and is absolutely brilliant. He currently plays for FC Farco, obviously in the Egyptian league as well. And once again, in terms of consistency, he's been a major part of qualifiers so far, playing in a lot of the minutes at the moment. And as I said, I have chosen him for his versatility. No, he won't be the top goal scorer for Egypt heading into this competition, but if you do want a player with an extremely high work rate, and I believe a player who will complement the style of play of these other midfielders, I do think he is the best option out there, especially as a deep-lying midfielder. I do think he would create quite a lot, and he could get the ball forward to areas for Zizou to get higher up in the midfield. Now, of course, jumping into that attacking three for the Egyptian national team. Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's Ladies and gentlemen, this is where it gets juicy, because as our wingers, I've gone for the likes of Trezeguet on the left-wing side, Mo Salah as a right wing. No way! I know, shocker, right? And as a striker, Mustafa Mohammed. Now, I do believe this Egyptian front three is absolutely solid. Obviously, look at Trezeguet as a left winger, the former Aston Villa winger. As we know, had gotten 11 goals, I believe, so far for Transen Sports in the Turkish League last season. And for this Egyptian national team, he's absolutely carried over his last few games. He's only played one African Cup of Nations qualifier, though. But saying that, he did get a goal and an assist in that game versus Guinea. I do think Trezeguet at 28 years old is definitely the best option for them as he is one of the most experienced players in that squad and he very rarely lets them down. As I said, as a right winger, there should be no surprise whatsoever that Mo Salah has to be in there. I mean, once again, I don't really have to talk about Mo Salah. As I always say, you don't have to advertise a Ferrari in terms of how good it is. But looking at Salah getting 19 goals and 12 assists last season in the best league in world football in the Premier League, once again, considering people are saying it's his worst ever season in the Premier League, the fact that he got, what, 31 goal contributions in the best league in the world, I wouldn't say that his bad season was that bad. I mean, it's alright, like, 
it. Look here, Mo Salah once again, an absolute legend, currently the top goal scorer and assist maker in the qualifiers for Egypt so far, is the second top goal scorer in Egyptian football history. I'm sure he will be chasing that record down. And at 31 years old, he's still in his absolute prime, in my opinion. And once again, there's no real debate on whether he should start for Egypt here. 51 goals and 90 international appearances. Once again, the Egyptian king needs to start and probably will captain them at this tournament and rightfully so. I'm the captain now. Now, of course, as I said, the final plan being the strike off his team is going to be the likes of Mustafa Mohamed, who once again, overall, for the Egyptian national team, hasn't been bad, has scored five goals in his last eight games for the Pharaohs. And looking at him for in terms of club, once again, he's not the best player out there. Only 11 goals and 51 appearances all season for Nantes. But at the end of the day, if you do want a striker who is going to be able to complement the likes of Trezeguet and Mo Salah, once again, strikers normally do have the role of scoring for the team. That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. You must have a goddamn IQ of 160. But once again, when you've got Salah and Trezeguet and players that complement each other up front, you don't just rely on one player to score the goals. And in terms of a number nine for this Egyptian national team, he's definitely the most informed for Egypt. Maybe not the best out there, but he does seem to be the best that Egypt has. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the Egyptian national team and what I believe they need to look like heading into the AFCON 2023. Once again, I know I myself am not Egyptian. I would be lying if I said I watched every single Egyptian football game ever. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. So if any of you do watch Egypt on a very regular basis, and I've made any mistakes here, do let me know in the comment section down below, and let's have a tiny bit of a debate. But of course, I also want you guys to put in the comment section down below, how well do you think Egypt will do at AFCON 2023? I mean, just looking at this team, it is absolutely monstrous, and I think they could pull off quite a few surprises. I mean, can I even say that? I mean, would it be a surprise if they went all the way? Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you did enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, and I'll see you guys all very, very soon. This has been Finn, FYWN.